Hey, what's up? This is Jameer J, and you're tuned in to Just Jameer. What's up, everyone? You're listening to Album 88, and if you are listening, you're tuned into a special interview. It's a hybrid interview, so we're trying something new, and this special guest is making history right now, so wow. kudos to you. Wow. But all right, here at the station, I have a singer and a songwriter who's known for her sweet melodies on songs like Lipstick, Next One, which is my personal fave. Oh, thank you. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, a lot more. So everyone, please welcome to the station, Beja Rodriguez. Hi, guys. Ooh. What's going on? <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. It's Friday. I ain't got to worry about the school right. week till, yeah. till Monday. So I'm doing good. That's awesome. Can I say something? Of course. I like your name. Thank you so much. It's it's really different. It's Thank really, you. And I know you probably have a lot of problems with this name because yeah. me being having a difficult name. Oh, I'm Jameer, by the way. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm Jameer. So I have a different type of name. Right. So I know how that can be when, you know, people calling you everything. Yeah. But your name. It's, I mean, it is. It was super difficult too. like because uh, I went to actually when I was younger, I went to like a private school pretty much for all of my life, like the same kids all the way up until fifth grade. And then when I went to um, middle school, I went to a public school. Mm -hmm. So it was like the first day of sixth grade and like they're doing the whole homeroom thing. Like they're calling everybody. Oh down. my God. And they're like calling everybody's name in front of the whole entire grade, you know, like, so this is the first time <laughs> I'm with more than like, 86 right right like, I went so, to private school too oh my first. god they were like Baja everybody was like who is that Baja like Baja Blast yes uh, I was like no my name is Beja but it was just I guess I can see how they got that one but still yeah yeah when, when it comes with a difficult name I get everything but Jameer my name's spelled like how you say it it's uh -huh. Jam Ear but people call me Jamar Jameer like they add <laughs> an extra A it's yeah. it gets rough it gets rough but anyway Still, you have a very I nice name. Thank you. <laughs> so do you. Yours is different. Thank you so much. Um, so I know you have a nickname. Yes. I don't. So it's Bay. Yes. Did you give yourself that, or did the fans give you that? Where well, is this? <laughs> it kind of came from my family, really. Like they would call me Beige at first, and then kind of mm -hmm. as I got older, like people would just call me Bay. Actually, like I feel like maybe my mom was probably the first person who called me that, and then like Zanique. Yeah. And then, like, it kind of just stemmed from there. Yeah. And now, like, everybody just calls me Bay. It's a good time because, you know, Bay is the thing. Yeah. So it makes sense. It yeah. makes sense. <laughs> so, speaking of Bay, that brings me into the first segment. And the name of this game is called Bay or Nah. Okay. So, let me explain to everyone how it works. Okay. So, I have some pictures over here, some handy dandy pictures going on mm -hmm. <laughs> of some celebrity cuties. Okay. In my opinion, <laughs> kind of, some okay. of them. Okay. And um, you would tell whether you would date them or not. We're okay. going to do dating because I feel like they're all pretty cute. Right. Kind of. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you tell whether you would date them or not. Now, if you will date them, for visual purposes, I want you to hold this up. That's just for the visual purposes. Okay. <laughs> yes, come on, Tom. Right. Facebook approved. <laughs> all right. But anyways, you'll hold that up and you'll say that's Bay. Yeah. If not, we're saying on to the next one. Okay. And this is to be play off her song, y'all, because next one is one of my personal oh, faves. Wow. It's such Thank a good song. You. So it kind of goes with the the whole theme. All right. Thank so you. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you ready? Yeah. All right. So let me shuffle them up real fast. Like, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, y'all. All right. <laughs> so the first one here. Bryson. Is Bryson. Oh, Bay. That's yeah. Bay. That's yeah, Bay. That's okay. Bae. How can you, how can Bryson, that's bass and Tiller, girl. Yeah, how can I, love, you not? I love him. Is it because of his singing? Yeah, I love his music. Yeah, and he's, and he's cool. Yeah, yeah he's, he's cute. cute. You know, do you know him? Nah, nah, nah. Okay, y'all should not be. Yet, I not feel like y'all would be cool because he's real chill. You're real chill. It yeah, seems for like the it. most part. For the most part? Do for you, most part. you be turning up? You chill, yeah. turn up and party? Yeah, okay. you, you know that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next person is Zip K. Oh, wow, this is crazy because I know him. <laughs> <laughs> See, he goes um, to Georgia, or he went to Georgia yeah. State. So I was like, I wonder. Um, yeah, Zip is cute. He could be bae. He he's could cute. be bae. Yeah, he's cool. Do you know how he acts? Like, do you know him really well? I don't know him really well. Like, I haven't really been. Like, I just only see him, like, out and stuff. And we yeah. just always chop it up about music and everything. We're actually about to do something together. Oh, yeah, ooh, so. I better have some exclusive yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
All right, yeah, he's real cool. Yeah, he is. All right. Party next Party. door. Oh, no, no, no. He's not, baby. Why not is right he? Why, he well, used to be, baby. Right. He's not right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm on the same page because he got a lot going on. He got a lot going on. Right he petty, now. y'all. Yeah. He petty was, next he door. Was, he was pe- petty next door. Petty next Facts. door. Facts. Facts. He was pretty petty. But I love right. I met <laughs> I him before. I love his music, though. Yeah, I, oh. I know. I, I met him, too. He's he's super cool. He is so Super cool chill. person, yeah. We actually, my cousin and I, we met him at the same time. And, boy, I was saying if he went to Georgia State, we would be, like, best friends Cause he thought I was hilarious. <laughs> he thought I was Andrew. Am I lying? Like he was like, somebody get this girl out of here. She tripping. But it wasn't in a bad way. Yeah. We just was chopping it up. Yeah. It's really cool. That's awesome. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Odell Beckham. Uh, yeah. He's bae. He's so cute. What What was that? Uh, yeah. He's bae. Okay. He's, bae. he's so, so you, cute. I like him. You do. He's yeah. Yeah. He is. He fun. All right. So would you date an athlete? I would. I think it would be different. I think it would be different. I mean, I would just want to see how it is. I feel like it would be different for me because, like, when I feel like when you date people who do the same thing you do, it's like the circle is so small. Yeah. And it's like, you know, I, I don't know. It's just a little weird. Like, yeah. I just don't, you know, I just know the industry is so small and guys are always talking, so I just never want my business to be That's the true. topic of the studio discussion. But, I mean, you know, I can't put that, path, you know, towards everybody because some guys may not even talk like that. Like, That's I may true. Not just, That's I may true. just not be giving them a chance, you know. All right. Well, we got to give people a chance now, baby. Right. You know. You know. <laughs> but, okay. I don't know, no, because after the little Iggy Azalea and oh, Nick that Young, the was teammate, crazy. that's fake. This is like a whole new, like, uh, <laughs> Uh, Kobe Bryant Shaq thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Like this is exactly this a lot. like that. It's just like that, and it's just like mm. it's a lot. Do you have you been seeing the memes? I've been seeing all of them. They be having me dead. <laughs> oh like, my goodness! Do you can't sit dead. With Twitter us. is hilarious. <laughs> Twitter is hilarious. Black Twitter. Black Twitter. Is black Twitter is hilarious. Look, I I go in and then black Tumblr. I'm a Tumblr. Yeah, I, be, I, love, I be Tumblr. I love Tumblr. <laughs> I be you do. I love Tumblr. Really? Yeah. I feel like a weirdo because I'm on. Like, I'm, I'm on Tumblr on constantly. Yeah, I'm it's, on it. I like it because it, it really puts you on to like new things. And exactly, different I'm styles to... and different types of people, and I think it's a really cool place to like connect. So exactly. like with people who like the same things you like, because I feel like from people's blog, like, you could tell like how. Oh my gosh, you know, blog. Tumblr. My Tumblr is my true self. Yeah, that's why I don't like people. I don't really like people I know following my yeah. Tumblr because I it's it's the real me. I don't be crazy on yeah. it. Yeah, but it's, it's, it but it's just crazy. like it's really who you are. Yeah, it's right. really who I am. Right. Yeah, I be tumbling. I'm a tumbling. All right. So, anyways, Zane, love him. That's yay. Bae. Yes, yes, yes. Have you heard his new stuff? His I new have. Album? He's amazing. I, I've always liked him in One Direction because I, I used to like One Direction too. Right. So, we, um, we had that that era. Yeah. So <laughs> I mean, I, I always liked him in that. I think he's perfect. So oh, he's perfect. He's just, was really nice yeah he's, he's awesome okay yeah zane's bae all right trevor jackson trevor um <laughs> <laughs> trevor uh i'm trying to think nah 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 he's not bae. he's cute he's cute he's cute so why wouldn't he be bae um i don't know i feel like because um i don't know i don't, Do you I don't know really him? know why i sort of i know him through mutually through different people like mm-hmm. i just I've, I've always heard to him and you know zendaya had like a thing going on and i like zendaya yeah yeah so. oh i love zendaya that's I love true zendaya. you can't you can't mess I met with her anything like a, i met her like a few years ago at like a concert really? in la she's she so was just great. so sweet oh i yeah. bet yeah she's cool so she's cool so trevor's no nah, no nah. he's on tour isn't he Is, has the tour started yet well he's coming to atlanta this month. Oh, and wow. I'm, I'm going, I love his oh, music. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have I'm going to go, too. I like his music, too. Really? Yeah, I really do like his music. I, I like his you. voice. Oh, he has a good voice. I think voice. he has a really, really nice voice, and I feel like it's kind. it kind of reminds me of, like, a Trey songs, but not too Trey songs. Right. Like, yeah, it's, not it's still, too Trey songs. It's still him. Right, But yeah. it, it reminds me of, like, a Trey song. So you have heard, like, the... I have. Oh, my gosh. Simple as this. Yeah, and Simple as this is my that, favorite. I'm trying to tell you. That's that my song. favorite one. And um, what's the other one that I like? No, that's simple as this. But what is the other one? Um, she aging like that one. Oh, oh, uh, age ain't nothing but numbers. Oh, here she comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. That one. I forgot the name of the song. Whatever. (laughs) All right. It's all right. Shameless plug for Trevor Jackson. Okay. So Bruno Mars. Yes. He did good. He's back at the Super Bowl. He did. He he held it down. And he's he's awesome. Wow. I really didn't think you would say bae to him. 
Yeah, no, I, I like no Bruno. problem with Bruno. I love Bruno. I just was like, okay, let's <laughs> throw Bruno in there. All right. Nick Jonas. Nick oh, Jonas. Yes. He's so cute. He's bae. He's been bae since Disney Channel. Low key. Yeah. Jun- burning up. Burning. Okay. Yes. Yeah. He's been bae. I think that's it. Yeah. All well, right. that was fun. So that was Bay or Nah, everyone. Woo. We're going to have to edit some claps in that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was Bay or Nah. Okay. So moving on, I tried to pick some young people because yes. we're young. Yes. We're in this young, wild, and free right, era. Right, right. So tell me about it. How is it being so young in the industry? Because you've been in the industry for a long time. Yeah, since yeah. I was like 12. Right. Yeah. So how how is that to be so young and growing up? You know, it's different because I feel like, you know, me growing up in the industry and like to the to the magnitude it was, I think that um, it grew me up a bit faster mm-hmm. as far as like, you know, making learning how to make rational, important decisions. Yeah. And, handling business and not using like personal emotions you know true, what I mean true. And, and things like that and I feel like um it grew me up a bit faster but I did enjoy it because I feel like I learned a lot about life and about how people are because this industry is really it's so crazy and <laughs> just the stuff that goes on you just would never even think or imagine but everybody in the industry is pretty much like a shark almost so yeah. it just teaches you how to not wear your heart on your sleeve Mm -hmm. and you know and that's not to just say you know that you'd be a cold-hearted person but you you just handle it like it's a business like business yeah it is a business it's a business right right and that's just um i guess how i looked at how i've looked at it and that's pretty much like how that's how you that's how you gotta be yeah you know yeah yeah i know it can be hard balancing like social life and still being a teenager but also you gotta you gotta handle business you gotta handle business okay so Tell me about your EP right now, It Gets Better. Um, okay, so my EP, It Gets Better, it came out in November, November 20th. <laughs> and um, it uh, off of pre-orders, it was like number four, I believe, on the iTunes R&B Solo Charge. It peaked at number four, and it stayed in the top 20 for yes. a, a, a long time. It's so good. After that, thank you. You're um, welcome. It was just uh, such a really, really cool project for me because it was like the first time that I actually was writing. Like when I was in um, OMG, it would be like we would just come to the studio, the song was already done, and we really didn't have to put much input. We would like it, you know right, what I'm saying? But right. we weren't actually like writing it. So this was like the first time that I was actually writing and really like having a hand in my actual sound in my music and it was just uh it was really cool to just like kind of grow with my music and really find myself through the music and what sounds I like what producers I like and stuff like that so it was really cool and at that time when I was making it and when it was coming out and all of this good stuff was happening it was like a year ago from that time period like I was just in such a different place and right. that's kind of why I called it it gets better because I felt like that was really where I was at with it. Like my life was just getting so much better from mm-hmm. what it had been a year ago. And I, that's you good. know, and I feel like you just have to, that's what, what life is. It's ups right. and downs and you kind of got to go through that. So right. that's Yo, how I felt about it. I think that's perfect that you brought up writing because yeah. I have a lot of questions about like the writing process. So you said at first you didn't have a lot to do with the writing and mm-hmm. stuff. Being that y'all were, you know, y'all were young and young, stuff. It yeah. was like, yeah, it, it kind of happens like that, I guess. Yeah. So how important is it to you now to have a hand in writing on your projects and writing your music? Like, I think it's super important because, um, you know, it, it it's almost like, um, like self gratification. Like mm. I, I feel just super involved. I'm able to actually be like, okay, no, I don't like that. And I could kind of just flow with it. Like, I can get in there, I can vibe, and I could really, like, just do whatever I want to do because the music is no wrong answer. You know what I mean? So it's like you have free terrain to do whatever you want to do. And I also work with other writers, too, you know, and I'll let people, like, come in and write records for me. Like, uh, maybe on my EP, uh, Forte Bowie Bowie wrote that. Okay. And Nashby produced it. Oh. And um, I'm trying to – oh, and uh, Don't Need Your Money – like the I think it was the last one on there that was actually wrote by my friend Rick so I okay. use different writers and different people right um it, it just depends on how I'm feeling but I think it is important to that that as an artist that you're able to create something on your own for yourself like right. you, you know your sound you know what you like so that when you do go to other people and you do collab and you do work it's like it's still you yeah and you still know what you want right like you know what direction right to tell them to go in definitely and then it's organic like that the yeah. fans can feel 
let me tell you, you can feel what's just some BS. Yeah. And what's really just real. Right. And that's why I like your music and just whoever else I like. I like that it's real and raw. J. Cole's my favorite rapper. Oh, so I like. Yeah, I love J. Cole. Yeah, too. so I'm really into just being real. real. Right, exactly. Yeah. So definitely makes a thing. So I have a question about writing, the writing process. Tell me, tell me about that. Because I've always wondered, just with artists in general, do you play a beat and vibe off the beat and write first? Or do you write a song and then find the perfect beat? How does that, how do you work? Um, <laughs> It kind of just depends, like, most of the time, I'll hear the beat, and it'll be me and my engineer. We, me and him actually write together. Um, cool. It'll be me and my engineer, and we'll kind of hear it, and we'll, like, vibe to it, and we're like, okay, we'll cut some melodies, and then we'll put some words to the melodies. But sometimes, like, um, you know, I, I may write something, I may hear something, and then I may go in and hear a beat and be like, okay, I feel like what I wrote would fit perfect on this. Yeah. But, like, now what I'm starting to do is, like, start from scratch with producers, so, like, we basically just oh. start from zero and we build and we build the beat together and then we build the song. That's you know cool. What I mean? That's cool. So, it's just it's just been really different, like, for me. I'm in the process of recording, like, my, my second project now. Oh, I was going to. Yeah. You were right on it because you <laughs> segue into everything that I was trying to get to. <laughs> yes. So, tell me more. I hear you're in the studio. Yeah, working I Working on that. Is there it's, a projected date? It's not. I, okay. I, I will say <laughs> summer. But Ooh, yes, I won't say a date yet. Um, you know, I'm just I feel like I'm just growing, you know, and just finding myself and maturing. Like I'm gonna be 20 this year, so the content of this one is much more mature. It, it sounds mature. What I'm okay. talking about is a bit older, and um, just kind of what I'm going through right, right now. Right, right. Um, but it's been it's been really fun. I'm actually about to uh, go out of town. I'm about to go to L. A. Go to Miami and record Ooh. with some people, a few of my friends, and you know, just just get some different vibes, get some different elements. That's to good. The EP. So that's pretty much what we're working on now. Just making sure it makes sense, and I'm really getting into just my sound period. So it's it's been fun. Yay! I'm excited yeah. about that, and I know it gets better. It just came out in like November, but it people have been waiting. I know, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> and everybody's like, where's the music? Where's the music? But I'm like, it has to be a time and a place for everything. Like That's when true. I start dropping music, I want it to all make sense right. with the EP. Because I felt like last time I kind of was dropping a lot of the songs that I dropped weren't on my EP. Right, you right. Know? So yeah. this time the songs that I'm dropping, I actually want them to be a part of the project. And I kind of want it to be almost like a story. So yeah, it's going to be. Stories are lit. Yeah. It's, I like it's, stories it's and music. Fun. Yeah. It's going to be cool. Definitely. Yeah, I understand that. Um, I feel like you got to take some time just to create some new music in, in your time space. But don't pull no Frank Ocean. Right. No, 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 no. No, no don't I be can't. gone for too long. I can't afford to. Okay, just checking. <laughs> 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 All right. So what else? Oh, I was going to ask you. So you sing, you song, right? Yes. You also dance. I do. So, yeah, you've been dancing for a while now. Uh, yeah, I've been dancing since, like, yeah, for really pretty much my whole career, but I didn't start getting good until I was, like, <laughs> 15, 16. Because that's what people don't know. It's a process. And, like, mm -hmm. with music and just with growth, period, it's all just about – it's a process. And you really right. have to be patient with yourself. And I feel like a lot of times just throughout my career I would get so frustrated, like, with the dancing and with yeah. the songwriting. Because songwriting for me didn't come, you know – easy until i did next one and after i did next one it was like it just started. i can do anything right, now because right. i did next one and it was good and i actually next one was like one of the first song was the first song that i had like wrote by myself you know and mm. that i had put out right so um i just I like it's a, yeah it's a process and i just like you just have to grow with yourself and be patient with yourself like right. now i feel like with the dancing i'm where i want to be and i can get better of course mm -hmm. but i feel like i'm on a good pace but you know to get there it was a lot of crying and I can't do this. I right. don't want to dance and da da da. da you know, oh, gosh. like so. Yeah, it happens. As long as you don't quit. Yeah, you know? and and that's some the people thing get too. frustrated. Yeah, and they just don't even. Yeah, because I went to a dance four on one class a long time ago, uh -huh. and I went with some people, and we accidentally, <laughs> we didn't check the schedule. I didn't. Let me uh -huh. own up to the responsibility. <laughs> I looked at the wrong date, uh -huh. and I thought that it was beginners hip hop. We messed around and went to advanced hip hop, uh, but we already paid my, our money and we right. was there. So I was like, I mean, it's whatever. We're right. just gonna we have just a good take time. The class. Right. We get there, man. Not only did we suck, 
<laughs> but I mean, I was trying. That's right. the thing. You got to A for effort for me because right. I was I was working. Right. I was working. But the people that I came with, they they gave up. <laughs> they was like, man, we look stupid. And they just sat there <laughs> for the whole class. They paid $20 to sit there. Wow. I was like, okay. But moral of the story, don't quit. Right. Okay. So anyway, speaking of Dance 401, I know you worked with the amazing Sean Bankhead I do. a lot. That's my baby. Do you work with him like a lot? I do. All your projects? I do. Or? He's um he's actually my creative director. So oh. like Perfect. a lot of the things that I do, he's like in the know about as far as like videos and, and things of that nature. But um me and Sean, our relationship is just special because he's known me since I was 14 right 15 yeah 14 15 so mm -hmm. um you know he's known me since i was young and has really like watched me blossom into oh, that's great who i am right yeah. now he's kind of been there like every step of the way and like next one was really well he he directed the lipstick video but mm -hmm. next one was the actual video that he got to that we got to get in and do choreography and it was just such an amazing vibe yeah. really you know because he's, he's like great. family already and I've already, you know, worked with him, you know, with the girls and I, and it was just different for it to be me and him. Just, it was exciting. Yeah, right. yeah, it was exciting, and it was really cool, and it just worked out perfectly. So Because he knows you. So yeah, it's so the cool choreography was like. Surround yourself with people exactly. that already. Yeah. Exactly. He's amazing. Funny he story, y'all. I actually met Beja for the first time last week. We right. ran into oh, yeah. each other because he's a creative director for um, Bria. Bria, Bria Wood. Yeah. Right. And I, I love Bria. I interned at Dance 401. So does my cousin. Oh, wow. we, yeah, so we were working it. And he's so great. We got a chance to work with him, and yeah. he's so sweet. He's and, amazing. Yeah. He's a good-hearted person. Yeah, really so sweet. it was pretty cool working with him. And then I met you there. I was like, funny story. I'm actually going to interview you. And next I was week. like, I'm so Were excited. you looking at me like I was crazy? No, I was really so, I was really like, wow, this is interesting. This yeah, is really crazy. Small world. Yeah, right. But I was excited because I was actually just super excited for this interview. Yay, that's good. Because when you said that, I was like, she said she was excited. That's good because I was, I worked hard on this interview because yeah. I was like, we finna make this fun. We're going to have a good time. So, yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool to know that you were excited, too. Yeah. And here we are today. Right so. now. Um, I want to go take a class, but I don't want to go by myself because my friends gave up. We need to go take a class Yeah, together. yeah. No, we need to I go take no, a class I, I together. Like, I like class. <laughs> I really do like going to class. We're going to we go should. to Shine's. We're going to go to Shine's yeah. class. I'm not advanced, though. So maybe, all, I, maybe I should take baby steps. No, nah, maybe, maybe <laughs> you should still come to Shine's class because it's like, it's like <laughs> his dance moves aren't really hard to catch on. Like it's kind of you you've been working with him for how many years? <laughs> they not hard for you to catch on. True, I've never true, taken his true. class though. So I've been I've seen footage, but I've never taken one. So I yeah, want to go. It's, it's it's an it's an experience. It's it's really cool. So I he filmed um a few of his classes, and I seen footage. I see how yeah. it looks really fun though. Yeah, it is. So everybody, y'all heard that we're going to a class together. You said it. Yeah, we're gonna go to Sean's class and dance next time he comes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anywho. What else was I going to talk about here? Oh, oh, oh. So have you thought about acting? You know, I have. Um, I feel like right now I would still want to, like, establish myself more so in the music before I do. But I'm not opposed to acting at all. You should. All. I, think it would be, I would think it would be something different. It would be really cool. Um, I, I, I'm really interested in so it. So you're open to yeah, it. Yeah, I'm definitely open you to it. You just got to find that right role for you. Right. What type of role do you, what type of role would you play? I feel like since you're like, I are play you chill? Yeah, like general? I want to play something like totally opposite. That's what I was going to say. You should try something just to have a chance to yeah. be yourself. Like be a villain or something. Or like in a movie, like, you know, be the bad Evil person in person. the movie. Yeah, yeah that would be fun. That would be fun. It will be a challenge. Yeah. And so what I've been wanting to know, when when is Beja going to go on tour? Actually, <laughs> I know it's crazy, right? But actually, this summer, that's that's what I'm working on is putting together a live show and just you know, real live, intimate, you know, small, Yay. you know, with a few of my fans and like just give them the whole live experience. Um, I will probably do it after I put out my second EP, okay. just to make it a, a experience, experience. But um, I'm this summer for sure. I Yay. definitely want to get out and perform. Him, so that's what me and my team are working on now. great great so beja will be going on tour soon that's good to know yes, ma'am. all right so time for our next seg our final segment all right this is just to get to know the ep better it okay. gets better so the name of this segment is called it gets better okay and what we're gonna do here <laughs> <laughs> i have the name of every song on the ep and i'm gonna ask 
a question or some type of challenge or something like that mm-hmm. that goes with the name of the song. Okay. Song titles on there. All right. So for the first one, crashing. Whose house do you crash at the most, not including your own? So besides your own house. Besides my own house, um, I would I would probably say Zanique. <laughs> I go to her house a lot. You do? Okay. Yeah, I go so, to Zanique's house. Crashing at Zanique's. Okay. Next one is Place. Yes. That's a good song. All right. Thank you. <laughs> um, Where's your favorite food place in Atlanta? Uh, Kale's Kitchen uh, is right really? there. Yeah, I've never tried it. It's so good because, you know, it's a cook from Blue Flame. So, you oh, know, strip club ooh, food strip club is the best food I'm trying ever. to tell you. Yeah. Them hot yeah. wings be on. Mm. It's, it's all good. And it's like seafood with like strip club food. It's just all good. Oh, That's my lit. favorite place to eat. Where yeah. is that at? It's right there on um, Forest Street. Oh. Right by like it's like it's like right on the same street as the uh Greyhound station and like okay. Magic City is okay. Right. Oh oh yeah, we lit. We yeah. going. We going. What's up? All right, yeah. great. All right. So the next one is yes, no, or maybe. Are you dating someone right now? Yes, no, or maybe. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm gonna say no right now. But then it's kind of like <laughs> I'm gonna a say maybe. no. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would say no right now. It's not that serious. It ain't that deep. Talking, yeah. y'all talking. Yeah. Y'all, okay, I get you. I got yeah. it. Okay, all right. So next is ride or die. Who's your ride or die and why? Um, oh, can I have like two or I can only do one? Mm, you, you can do two. You're supposed to do one. You okay. can do two, though, if it's that hard to choose. You don't want to make nobody mad. <laughs> I would say like my mom and my, really, and my sister probably. Okay. Both of them go super hard for me no matter what like all the time That's like good. my sister on the sister tip like you know when people mess with me and like when i'm sad and stuff like that like my sister is Aww. she'll really turn up about me but my I mom bet. is the same <laughs> way and my mom is pretty much like my day-to-day letting me know what i have going on like right da, 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 da. she's like my day-to-day manager i was gonna much. ask like you. i have a man i have a professional you know a manager right. like somebody who you know does that but as far as like day-to-day stuff like you know this and when i have to go do interviews and you know photo shoots stuff right. like that like she handles all of that i so. was gonna ask you how is it like having your mom so hands-on with your career does it get like a little um, annoying at times or what is is it all good it's 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 pretty much all good and i think that that was a process too because when i was younger it was like super stage mom and then yeah as i got older i was like well ma you know like she just started realizing she didn't have to did you know, have to talk about it yeah or we, she did, just, yeah. we did we did we it bet. was just it was like you know she just realized that she didn't have to really be that way like right you know this is something that i love to do but now our, it's super cool like my mom doesn't do anything or make any decisions for me like she brings it to me, <laughs> lets me know what it is, let me know the pros and cons. How do you want to handle it? And it's it? all on you. Right. And That's good. I pretty much just go with it from there, but it's 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 really good. I like it. Yay. Yeah. I know you said you don't, like, you were talking about your friends and stuff before. You was like, we're going to oh, talk about yeah, it. I'm yeah, like, yeah. what you got to say? Oh, oh, I was saying, <laughs> I mean, I was saying, it's not that I don't have friends. Like, but, I have friends, but it's like, we don't really call each other. We kind of, like, text a lot. Uh, so, I would say, like, nobody ever really calls me on the phone like mm-hmm. that. But, um... Most of my friends are like my family and people I've known yeah. for a really long time. Like, um, you know, um, my cousin Chazery and pretty much like all my cousins. Yeah, and like that's my friend, you know, Zanique Bree, people <laughs> like that. Like I've known, yeah, pretty much like that's everybody I've known for for a long time. So it's cool. That's how it's supposed yeah. to be. That's how my me and my friends are. Well, my cousin is my best friend also. So we hang out a lot. And then my roommate, mm-hmm. I've been knowing her. We go to the same church. Oh, that's cool. Back at home. So we came to Georgia State together. Mm-hmm. And we've been knowing each other since back in forever. Because everybody cool. know each other at my yeah. church. Oh, my gosh. All right. So anyway. <laughs> so the next one is see my face. Yes. So for me, I one thing that I cannot leave the house without wearing a makeup item i guess is lipstick yeah. i can't leave the house without having something even if it's new like right now i have on new lipstick mm-hmm. so what is that makeup item for you something you nobody can see your face without this um mascara probably mm. like i love my eyelashes so like even they're if, pretty and, long are those real oh no 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 no. these aren't oh, but, norm- like, but like, normally <laughs> yeah like really normally long. Uh, I, I'd put mascara on my natural lashes. I have pretty long natural lashes, so mm. like when I don't feel like put like I put on strips because I was coming up here. But yeah, you know, normally I just put on like some mascara. Call it a day. I may do my brows, but yeah, I know mascara is something I wear like 
every day. That's facts. I feel like it gives your face just. I'm trying to tell you, like I don't, I don't have no eyelashes, so I look like a telly tubby when I go. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody know I be like, telly tubby. yes, I'm so crazy. That's, that's what I say call that. myself. I be like, I look like a telly tubby right now because I don't have on mascara or oh anything. My it's facts. Okay, so the last one is don't need your money. Mm-hmm. So if you won the Powerball, what are the first three things you would spend your money on? First, what are the first three things you would buy? I would buy a house, pay for it, like pay for everything. Cash. Own it, yeah, own it. On site. I would, for you know, just for me and my family, because I stay with my family. So me and my family. Cool. And um, I would probably invest something into like stocks and stuff like that. Ooh, like invest my you money. You trying to sustain this yeah, money. Yeah, invest my money in places right. where I can keep making money. And then I would invest into myself. A little bit. Oh, yeah. But those will be the first three things. Got you, got you, got you. All right, so that concludes It Gets Better, the segment. Woohoo, Klaus. Okay. And that's it for the interview. So I would like to thank you so much oh, for coming. Thank you for And taking me. your time to come out here. It's really fun. Yeah, I had a I had a really good time. I was really excited for this one. Yay. So okay. I'm glad we got to do it. And we're going to a class together. We're going to dance. We're going to dance. We're going to turn up and party. When sh- next time Sean Baker has a class, we eat. What's up, girl? Let's rock. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Benja Rodriguez and you're listening to Album 88. I'm here with Jameer J.